Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Please excuse the state of my hat hair slash needs a wash hair. <laughs> I'm washing it tonight. Um, yeah, I hope you're well. I am going to be doing a bit of a random dress haul. I thought I could do this video because I went on to the next website and I just ordered a load of dresses. It's one thing that I'm really lacking in my wardrobe, like 100% with wanting to like either dress up or even just dress casually. I just don't really have anything nice. I thought I could take a few of these on holiday as well when we go away in August, because um, we're going on a cruise and you can kind of dress up a little bit and you know what I mean? I just don't really have anything. At least I, I feel when I look at my wardrobe, it's nothing that, you know, I can really pick for like an evening or whatever. So I had a look on the next website and they just had loads of really nice things. Obviously, you never really know when you buy online with sizes and whatever um but i did go in store randomly yesterday because i did have to take something back and then i saw a couple of new dresses in there you may have spotted these on instagram because i kind of tried them on because obviously i got them uh picked them up yesterday and i wanted to bring them home to try them on so um i can show you those ones first but these are all new in um uh, I've, I'm definitely keeping these two, which you would have seen on Instagram if you follow me there, and then these other ones which I received yesterday afternoon are all packaged up, and fingers crossed, uh, you know, one or two of them fit. I don't necessarily have to keep them all, um, but yeah, so um, I want to start out actually by saying I do find, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but... I've tried to go shopping so many times, just, you know, just browsing with or without miles. And honestly, I feel so overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that's out at the moment. It's either just not my taste or there's just, I just don't know. I just get really overwhelmed, the amount of people, the amount of stuff. Um, I just get so hot and flustered. I just can't focus on really what I'm looking for. So I think online shopping is just the way forward for me for the foreseeable the only time that i like kind of may enjoy going into a, a shop is sometimes i'll go into primark and i'll go in there i know primark can be so overwhelming and busy but i like to go in there right when it opens like i drop the kids off at school they go in quite early and i can be at primark for like nine quarter past nine so there's really nobody in there and especially the one in bournemouth it's so big and spacious i just really like it there so that's kind of the only shop i would say that i actually go into at that sort of time of day and and kind of enjoy it so anyway starting on with the dresses so i got this one which I instantly just was drawn to because I love pinstripes. Um, I love the style. I love anything with that looks like a shirt and then it kind of cinches you in the waist with a little tie. That's kind of my thing. Um, and this was basically that. The only downside, I tried on the six and I tried on the eight. The six, I would say, fit pretty much perfectly up top. And the only thing I didn't like about it is that it was just a little bit too tight around the tummy. And I don't want to be uncomfortable. Like I want to wear something and feel confident and not a bit, you know, I just I just felt like it was a little bit too snug um, and I just didn't like the feel of it. This material actually is very lightweight and around the waist it has like a little stretchy waistband as well. So it's super forgiving as such. Um, it's kind of got a little bit of ruching. Obviously it has the tie as well. I'm going to try and insert some clips of me actually wearing each item. Whether it turns out good or it turns out terrible, you can just see what, what the dress looks like. And of course I will leave everything linked in the description bar. But yeah, it's just all buttoned all the way down. It's super long. I mean, I'm 5'4", five, five, so I'm not necessarily very tall. And it fits really, really nicely. I just got it in the regular size. I didn't go for, I don't know if they have a tall or a petite version, to be honest, but this is just a standard eight I ended up getting. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I was very unsure with the cut of the sleeves. Uh, as you can see, they're very big. Uh, it's quite a wide cut, it's quite boxy. But actually, you know, putting it on, styling it a little bit, it does actually look a lot nicer and it's clearly just the style at the moment the slight oversized fit cinches you in the waist and i think this would be so nice dressed up and dressed down um 
and I just really I just really like it it's very me again really nice lightweight fabric which is what you want for this time of year this kind of humidity god what is with the humidity at the moment and then this one is my absolute favorite I randomly spotted this on a like one of those freestanding rails and it's kind of like a linen blend material linen cotton um again this is very me I love anything that kind of can cover up this bit I would say I do like my arms and my shoulders um and it just it gives that a little bit of a fe feminine touch I think when it has like this really cute cut um it also has a little tie at the back and you literally just pop it over your head um yeah and it's just it's it's not fitted it's quite fluid like lightweight I got this in a I didn't even try it on in the six to be honest but I think I probably could have got away with the six but the eight was absolutely fine it's comfortable again it's a really nice length I can imagine wearing this again dress up dress down but I could also you know could imagine taking miles to Peppa Pig world with a pair of converse on or or a nice little tan sandal you know okay so this dress was one of the first dresses in my basket I would say um, when I was looking online but first impressions I'm already a bit disappointed with it because in the picture it, it didn't I wouldn't say it didn't look silvery but the stitching's actually like a shiny silver and I'm not sure if I'm that keen on that um, but I do like the cut again it's I don't know just quite a, a feminine sort of off the shoulder bit summery bit um holiday vibes you know a uh, very lightweight material I do actually like it like it is a, it is just a really nice style dress that I like it's got a little ruffle at the bottom I'm just I don't know if you can see the shine I don't know if the stitching if that wasn't so shiny I probably would like it more I just think it cheapens it a little bit um but yeah it's got a little waistband as well and obviously I'm going to try it on and see how we go but I also got this in eight and this was 40 pounds which personally I don't think looks as expensive as those two dresses and this was obviously more expensive okay so this dress I saw on the model and I was just like I love it I love everything about it it's just so beautiful but again don't know if it's really me um definitely a bit more dressy this is actually under the brand lipsy lipsy do have some really nice things um honestly i don't actually know how much this was but i think it was over 40 pounds i think it was under 50 but over 40 um and it looks like this it's got like a little bardo style i just love the color just you know not too crazy it's got the little readery little holes i love that it's just really feminine it's got the stretchy kind of bust area and then it's got the you can see the tie i love a little waistband and then the the skirt is actually just a bit more of a um you know like a full skirt that has a couple of tiers yeah just just such a pretty kind of like bell from beauty and the beast that is that vibe isn't it that really kind of off the shoulder full skirt um yeah so i also got that in a size eight this okay this isn't very me like i this was like my wild card but again it was on the model and i thought i really like that like it's not that me, but I actually really like that. I got this in a size eight, it's 39 pounds. It's got quite puffy sleeves. I think that could be an issue. It's kind of a wrap dress. You can see it kind of ties. Um, and again, it's kind of got this little tear thing going on. It's kind of dipped at the front, really full at the back. It's a really fun, like, holiday dress barbecue dress you know what I mean I just really fancy something fun one of my best friends we saw her last week and she had this really beautiful pink and orange dress on and I just thought wow like I don't have anything like that so yeah a little bit of her I think this is what inspired me actually but um yeah it is a really pretty design I just don't know if it's really going to suit me but I'm definitely going to give it a go I think I'm 
most unsure about the sleeves. I think that can be the kind of make or break thing. If the sleeves look ridiculous, I think it's just a no-go. Move on. Black. So this is more of a cash, cash dress. Beach dress, throw on. Um, you know, when you just, I don't know, you just want to put a dress on but you don't really want to be seen you just want to wear it and be comfortable put some slides on I don't know have a bikini underneath it's just cotton I got it in the size 6 just because it generally is just a big piece of material and I thought it's probably going to be pretty large it, it looks like a, a 6 to a 10 I would say in size um, this was £24 I think they have a few colours uh, it's floor length on me <laughs> pretty much. I reckon I get away with it with sandals. Um, but yeah, with a, again, com converse, you know, dress it up, dress it down, denim jacket. Okay, so last two dresses, basically, they're the same dress, but in two different colours. So I saw this dress and I was like, that's a bit of me, 100%. I had a dress like this years ago in khaki green and I got bleach on it and I was devastated. I may have told you that story before, but I was putting bleach around the toilet and I think I got a little bit on myself and I was devastated because I loved it and I honestly can never find anything similar but this is very similar but they're just in different colours so it's basically just like a military style dress I would say um, again you can wear it smart cash undo a few buttons put some nice jewellery on but also I used to wear it with just you know sandals whatever um, it's got a nice waistband it's got pockets can't be a pocket can't beat a pocket it's got more pockets probably wouldn't use those but um yeah little tortoise shell buttons it's quite long that's the only thing my one that I originally had that I loved wasn't as long as this and I would say this is like ankle length but I, I do really like it and I love the burnt burnt sort of copper color I actually think you could probably pull this off in the winter with tights and put a jumper over the top um this was £48, got it in my size 8, um, I'm hoping that is going to be a winner, but who knows, I just, I love the colour and then I also picked it up in black. I just feel like you can't really go wrong with a black dress at any point, if you're not feeling a dress but you've got to dress up, I feel like black, you can just put it on, a little bit slimming, it just makes you feel good. Um, yeah, again, smart cash, exactly the same as the tan one. £48, size 8, and um, it's kind of a lot thicker, this material. It's in under their tailoring range, um, which sometimes is more of like work style stuff as well, so you could wear this to work. Um, yeah, the material is just really, really nice. It's a lot thicker. But um, yeah, I like the fact that it has no sleeves. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping these are winning. Right, don't mind the chaos of the other dresses, I've not tried them on yet, but I'm just going to go through and show you each dress because I feel it just makes such a difference, we can actually see the real fit. But um, yeah, so this is what I was saying about the kind of, bit of a drop shoulder, uh, you know, a lot of people said you should get it taken in, but... I don't know, I suppose it, it kind of makes it look less formal as such. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can see the length of it. So it is quite long, but um, I think with a little tan sandal, a little, you know, just a little bag, I think it will look actually really quite sweet, but you can see it kind of fits me quite nicely. The six was definitely like a bit, just a bit too snug. I, you need room around here. Um, but I do like the fact that it's just, it's quite, you know, it is fitting. Um, you know in the right areas I would say so this one I don't necessarily have the right underwear as such for each dress so just bear that in mind but I'm working with what I've got but yeah this one I really love like I said before I just love the I just think the cut is just really just really nice it's just really girly um, comfortable flowy um, but still kind of you know flattering I think this flatters this being so out here um but yeah i love this dress just still number one at the moment but i okay this one i'm literally just gonna tighten this little belt 
this one's pretty much just for show I would say around the belt this is quite fitting which I didn't actually expect that I expected it to be slightly more flowy you can see there's obviously it does it does um I can see like you can see it's it's like a stretchy waistband but actually that bit's fine it's the hips you can see it's more fitted in the hips it kind of brings you in um and then it's got the little slip it's actually really nice it's definitely not a no but it's so far definitely not my favorite so i'm a little bit unsure about this one i kind of I want to love it, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the sleeves. I don't know if it's the color on me. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't, it is really pretty. Just looking in this mirror here, I can kind of see it a bit more in natural daylight. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's this, the bodice bit. It's like, I do really like it, but um, I don't know if it's just a bit of an overkill of everything, plus the colour. Like, would I actually wear this? You know what I mean? Like, is it a bit too much? It is lined. Like, it feels quite big. You know what I mean? Um, I think, I, like I said earlier, like, it's a bit ball gown -y. Like, I, it might just be a bit much. I don't know where I would wear this to, even though... I suppose on the hangout it looked quite, I don't know, a bit more beachy, but I, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Ooh, what do we think? It kind of ties in. You can tie it as tight as you want as well, which is super handy, because if you haven't got very big boobs, or if you've got big bust, you don't want to be gaping, and you know, you want it to feel comfortable. And that tightens really nicely. I do have a little tank underneath. Um, See this, although it's quite vibrant and the ruffles, it doesn't feel bulky. The yellow one just felt really big, you know. This one doesn't, it's very lightweight, it's very thin, perfect for beach day. Um, I don't know, it just actually feels so nice. I really love this actually, I'm, I'm very, pleasantly surprised at how much I really like this. I wish they did it in more colours because I don't believe they did it in any other colour. I think this was it. Okay, the black jersey, I had to show you what this looks like. This is so nice. Like I said, it's just one big bit of material. Definitely go down a size. Um, it is very long though, as you can see. <laughs> you can see my feet. Um, I have seen this like, little hack some people, um, Kind of tie them slightly which could work you know as a cash as like a little cash dress with some little sandals okay so it's so much nicer not having like all the buttons done up i just think it look, just looks a bit more feminine um i need to tie the little waistband But yeah, you can see it's definitely more fitting. I actually really like that. It's a really nice material. I think I said that before. It's just really soft, but it feels um, kind of expensive. I mean, it is pretty expensive anyway, 48 pounds. But yeah, it actually fits really nicely. It feels like a really nice cut. I really like the length as well. Can't be a pocket. It's a little overview, you kind of see it slightly more on the leg. But yeah, I love that. And now I'm gonna try the black one on, and I'm sure I'm gonna love it even more. I love the black. It's just something about black, I think. Um, I would, you know, I with a really nice heel, I think this would just look so nice. Um, dressed up, the little clutch. Um, a little tan shoe. I just feel like black it just looks so so much more sophisticated. I don't know why. I just love it. I love this. Can't 
kind of feeling a bit sexy in it, you know. Um, yeah, I love this. I mean, in some ways, it makes me feel like these dresses are like £48 each, quite expensive. But then I kind of think to myself, if I looked for something that was cheaper, it probably wouldn't fit as good as this. It probably wouldn't feel as good as this, you know. So you, you are buying in. This is the next tailored section. So this is generally more expensive. They do all their tailored stuff, like their trousers and blazers. I've got a few of their blazers, you know. And the cuts are just really, really nice. They wash well as well. So, yeah. And I don't have anything like this at all. Well, now I've got two of them. But you know what I mean? Like, this is something that I think is quite a staple piece and so is the tan one um, I also think the stripe pieces are very 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 staple it's, it's the sort of style and colours that don't really necessarily go out of fashion I am keeping the pink dress though I have to say I absolutely love that dress and then I think the rest is going back apart from the jersey dress so I think I've done really really well actually um, I think, um, yeah, a bit of a result really with, you know, only sending back two dresses. Yeah, definitely check out next. I mean, they hold lots of different brands anyway, which makes it just a better because you're not just buying next, you can buy other brands and there's just more of a variety than actually having to go into shops and you can just send it all back if you don't like it. That's one thing I love about next. But um, yeah, I feel like a massive... It, like I've just achieved quite a lot in just one order which I'm really happy about just getting some staple dresses just for holidays and you know like I mentioned these are like basic pieces I think that are gonna last you know the color palette and whatever sort of stuff that doesn't really go out of fashion so it's a win I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope it's given you some ideas if you're looking for dresses it's so daunting like even just just tra I find trouser shopping the worst actually but um yeah I hope you enjoyed it and um let me know your favorite dress I think this one is my favorite dress I just feel really good in it and when you feel really good in something I just even with greasy hair I feel like I could rule the world like I'm PMSing at the moment as well but yeah I feel amazing in this dress like amazing it's so flattering it's so comfortable and so soft <laughs> I think I've said that like 20 times, but it's so soft. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and I will see you in my next one.